Malik Ambar's parents never got to see his success because they sold him as a child slave. That hurts. One day you're a child with loving parents, and then the next you're handled by strangers in a foreign land. Sometimes life can be so cruel. But this isn't about cruelty, but opportunity. Malik Ambar was born in modern day Ethiopia in the 16th century with the name Chapu. But for reasons we will never know, he was sold into the Arab slave trade. On the slave markets of Yemen, Chapu was bought by an Arab slave owner. And as luck would have it, his new owner educated him so that he could handle his businesses. This is the same owner who changed Chapu's name and converted him to Islam. Malik Ambar accompanied his owner across the Indian Ocean to conduct new business in India. Malik didn't realize that he would be the center of one of these new business ventures as he was once again sold to another owner. However, this owner would change the direction of Ambar's life. This new owner was a former slave from Africa named Chengiz Khan. But unlike most ex-slaves, Chengiz Khan was successful and served as the chief minister for one of the sultanates. So Malik was exposed to the politics and military of his time. And on top of that, he realized that slaves could climb the ranks of society just like his slave master. So he trained as a soldier which only impressed Chengiz Khan who saw Malik as a future leader. So he took him as a personal aide and groomed him for leadership roles. But as luck would have it, Chengiz Khan was accused of treason and executed. As painful as this was for Malik, he was set free by his master's wife, something he hasn't tasted in over two decades. With his freedom, Malik enlisted in another local army, he got married and had children. If we just stopped Malik's story right now, this would have been a success for him. Since that he started out as a slave, been abandoned by his parents, <laughs> just, just an incredible journey to have the basics of life, a job, marriage, and children. But Malik's story doesn't end actually there. It goes a lot farther. Malik Ambar became one of the most powerful men in India, where he navigated the cutthroat politics and fought off the much bigger Mughal Empire. His life is something of a legend. And despite being etched in history as one of the most successful military and political leaders in Indian history, his parents will never know how much of a success their son was. Now, this story isn't about parents missing out on their child's life, but it's more than that. It's more about how Malik made something of himself when things were against him. He took advantage of being educated. He took advantage of becoming a soldier. And most importantly, he took advantage of his freedom. You know, keep in mind guys, you know, a lot of us have challenges. And for some of us, you know, those challenges are even more significant. But life will always be tough for everybody. But the ones that become something are the ones who take advantage of their difficulties. Malik Ambar could have been a useless slave, but he used his talents whenever possible, from running his master's business to learning to be a soldier. And I get it guys, you know, Malik was a slave and he didn't have much of a choice, but he did have a choice to apply himself completely. He could have been a lousy business operations manager or a lazy soldier, which in both cases, he would have been designated as a different type of slave. But he applied himself, and over time, he took advantage of the small opportunities that came his way, and he ended up taking full advantage of his freedom, which ultimately led him to being one of the most political savvy military leaders of his time. This is the lesson from this video and Malik's story. No matter how difficult a situation is, we must find the opportunities to apply ourselves. Life will always be challenging, and it will continually throw sucker punches at us, but that's not an excuse. You need to realize that there are opportunities even in the worst situations. And so many of us don't see the opportunities because we so get so caught up in our emotions and you know thinking how hard a situation is, rather than just accept it for what it is and then spot with our eyes the opportunities that come our way, even if they're just very tiny ones. Anyways, I think you're getting the point. But I want you all to realize that you have unrealized potential, but it's useless if you don't apply yourself. Life is always gonna be hard but you can make it better when you give it your all. All right guys, that's it for today. Thank you again for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my newsletter, and guys, remember, you're not just any type of nerd, you're a charismatic nerd.